graffiti in one form or another has been around since the beginning of time, since caveman days, literally. But in 1990, around the early 90s, it became a phenomenon in Los Angeles. However, it quickly became deadly. Taggers became tag bangers. And to discuss this particular period of time, my special guest on the line, Ouch One. What up, Ouch? What's up, brother? Nothing much, man. Thanks so much for joining the program, homeboy. Man, every day, all day, brother. Yes, yes. Looking forward to to jumping into this, man. As you and I talked offline, you know, right when hip-hop came into my life, graffiti kind of simultaneously came into my life as well. So that was one of the first loves of my life was just seeing that artwork on on the walls and on the trains and on the buses. And I know you were a big intricate part, you know, of, of that era as well. But I want to take it back, you know, a little bit even before that, before you picked up a can, before you picked up a scriber, before you picked up a marker. And I want to talk a little bit about your life before that. Where Where exactly did you grow up? I grew up in South Central LA. I grew up off of 81st in New Hampshire. It's like uh, one block west of uh, Vermont. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, I grew up. It's like it's like the uh, it's like the ass the ass end of the hatred gangsters. You know what I mean? Okay. And what years were your you know your your early teens or preteens? What years were you uh, living there? Man, I was over there, man kind of far back as I can remember so I was there in the 80s through my youth all that I mean you know yeah yeah New Hampshire was 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 our block uh, you know what I mean it was it was you know you had the older cats there doing their thing and and it, it, it was a cool it was a cool community man it was like right there about Pepperdine College a lot of people don't know about Pepperdine College right off the of 79th of Vermont when you, you mentioned when you mentioned Pepperdine College, everybody wants to think about Malibu, California. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, uh, see, you know, now I think it's the uh, uh, Crenshaw Christian Center. Yeah, mm. I was living. Yeah, I was still living over there when uh, Reverend Price was over there. He had, he bought the whole the whole gig up. Mm, okay. So, eighties, early nineties, crazy time in L.A. Anybody who survived the eighties and nineties. You know, just not, not even if you were gangbanging or doing anything, just if you were able to walk the streets and be able to make it to school and make it back and forth, you know, in certain areas. Um, you're kind of a warrior to this day, man. I mean, L.A. was a different time back then. Talk to me about what you remember when, you know, the, you know, gang started popping up and, and crack cocaine, you know, was really terrorizing our community. Well, I mean, it, it, uh, shit. Niggas in the world that know Slow Bob Main Street, 98 Main Street Mafia. I live right, he was right there on 80 of New Hampshire. So I, I was already, you know what I mean, first car I remember he had, he had a Camaro, man, like a 68 Camaro that was candy apple red on laces, man. And I, you know, I mean, you know, and he was a nigga, we watched his car, he give a nigga a little change and shit. Um, as far as like the cocaine world, man, you know, uh, that shit touched my family. I had a cousin. I had a, I had a, I had a cousin that was addicted to cocaine. You know what I mean? It was in my family, my daddy. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I knew that game around there, and I mean, it was, it was, it, it was a trip, brother. You know what I mean? I'm coming home from school one day, and and and, and, and find, find this nigga named Leo that was an addict. You know what I mean? To crack cocaine, he, he was dead. I mean, it was just, it, it was, man. I don't know. You know what I mean? It was like, whoa. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Growing up over there, it was, it, it, it was cold, man. Now, when did you first start to notice graffiti? You know, it was always around us, you know, as a kid. But I, I there was a specific time where I just started noticing it more. When did you start noticing it more? Uh, it had to be like the, 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 the early 80s. Uh, I was hooked on those Teen Angel magazines. You know what I mean? That was like a, a, a his, basically a, a Hispanic, a dominantly Hispanic book that that covered uh, uh, cholo style graffiti and shit. Mm. And then my aunt, my aunt that raised me, we always used to go to this Kmart on Imperial and Western, and there was a cat named Clever Man. Mm-hmm. He did a Donkey Kong man. It, it was like it was something. It was that time, man, like we're break dancing. And all that shit was in, and nigga had the fluorescent colors rocking and shit, and this nigga had did this shit on the wall, man. And I could not understand how 
how how it looked just so smooth, just the shitty paint. It was a Donkey Kong raising the barrel up and all kind of shit, man. You know what I mean? And didn't know who the cat was at the time, but later, you know, in my introduction to graffiti, Clever was a legend, man. Never met that guy, but niggas I know, my my homeboys, my nigga Mad One brush shoulders with Clever. You know what I mean? Just different people, bro. You know what I mean? So yeah, that that was somewhat my introduction to graffiti, and then Beach Street, bro. Mm-hmm. Beach Street. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Spit was probably the original first troll. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the straight just don't feel. You know, he was like. It ain't no art to me. I'm a bomber. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm a go out there. I'm a mobber. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. there's different levels to this shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She wanna see the city bus She don't wanna ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out is the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning, won't remember shit I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out is the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, set, go, go. Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go. We bout the to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. Yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now get dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out is the truth I already know Yeah Well, let me, let me ask you, um, who are some of the crews, you know, before you started doing your thing, who are some of the crews that you remember seeing hit up? Before I started doing my thing, it was like DEF, uh, 
uh, man, uh, uh, West Coast Risky, West Coast artist. Uh, mm. Risky, you know what I mean? Uh, let me see who else. Um, well, West Coast artist, man. Period. On on the South Central end, it was the crew that I got into. It was uh, CMA, Criminal Minded Art. That was mm. the first first ever crew I, I I jumped into as far as like full fledged graffiti going out meeting up racking do I mean, you know what I mean just getting it was it was CMA you know what I mean mm-hmm. and what? so yeah it, it was CMA KTL uh let me see what was it uh uh I didn't know that I I, I seen a couple of names up like uh create skier uh, Lur King, uh, just little names that I could really, I, I you know, I mean that because some niggas had some wild shit, you couldn't even read it, man. You know what I <laughs> mean? So, you know, just names that I knew, and then, like, like, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, as far as hearing things, yeah, B A D. Okay. So, so when did you pick up your first can and, and talk to me about that experience about your, your first hit up? Uh, I, I was going to John Muir. I was going to John Muir uh, uh, Junior High over there in, 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 in the brim slash who was uh, whatever you want to call it. But uh, <clears throat> I was already dibbling and dabbling in gang banging. You know I mean, I mean, at this time, I don't know. It was probably about eighty-eight. I, I don't know, eighty-seven, something like that. I was dibbling and dabbling in gang banging, and uh, I remember it was a crew of us on my block, on the New Hampshire block, that went to school together. We always met up at the homeboy uh, Trayvon house. I think that's, uh, I want to say, uh, damn, we called him Taper. I'm trying to think of his name. I don't want to miss say his gang name from Matrix Gangster, but he, he, yeah, we used to meet up at his house. And somebody, I just checked into John Mirror, but one of, one of my niggas on the block had already started fucking around with the writing and shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... We all used to get together, and we go downtown off of Venice, and uh, we all got together. We went downtown to Venice, and uh, I want to say uh, Venice and Broadway. If it ain't Venice and Broadway, it's Pico and Broadway. It used to be a, a standard brand right there. We, we went in and shit, and uh, it was these Magnum markers. These motherfuckers stink like a motherfucker. I, I mean, remember you know, those. So we get them and shit, and then, you know, my first name was... uh. Got his old man. Was it? Uh, I think it was Sergeant, bro. S E Sergeant, S E R G E N T, or some shit. And you know, I mean, I started hanging with them niggas. And uh, that first time I got out, it was like it was a game. Now it was something new. I could do something. Nobody knew my name, but I could, I could get in and get out. You know what I mean? And we was attacking the buses and shit. We was already on the buses as young niggas making moves, going to the mm-hmm. beach and shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, it, it was it was a feeling, it was a feeling, bro. But your next question may ask me like when I really got into it. I'm not sure. I don't want to jump the gun. Go for it. But I remember it like it was yesterday. I went to the mall. I we went to the Fox Hill Mall, and I think the first nigga I met was Castro, CMA, bro. And that's my nigga from day one to this day, bro. He's still alive, too. That's another dude you might have to interview, my brother. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, I got on a bus, man. Uh, we, we, it, it, was a cold, it was a cold bus ride. I was getting off on Vermont. They was getting off on Vermont. Mm-hmm. And I think we exchanged numbers and some shit, man. Next thing I know, man, I'm hanging with some, like, some bus mobbing motherfuckers. I'm hang- I got in at the right time around the right people. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, that was like one. That was like one of the major fillers in graffiti. That's when I knew, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Mm. And talk to us about the RTD man. The route we used to call it with the Ralph Tra- Travis Daniel or some shit like that. But it was a bus. You know, it was our it was our main you know form of transportation around here. How important was it to to get hit up on RTD because they went everywhere? And talk to me about some stories about you guys mobbing buses. Man. RTD, man. I remember the glass houses, bro, the double deckers. Glass houses. Oh, yeah. Somebody in the glass house was a bus that was composed of all glass. That's when they was like, uh, 
like a off tan and like orange, I think. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, rapid transit district. Hell yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a killer that motherfucker line. <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the RTD man, it was just a bus system. Man, that thing went everywhere. Man, that thing was so. You know, it went. You could transfer here, get there, and get there. And as kids, you out wanting to explore. So I was, I was on it. So when I got to getting down on the buses, man, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm catching tags on the bus, whatnot, and then uh, we, 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 we toys. I'm a toy right now. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm just out here getting it. And uh. The RGD, man, it was just a form of transportation to get around. So anybody that was in graffiti was on the bus line. And when you got on a bus, first thing you do is you look to see who's up. You know what I mean? And in my case, it was I wanted to see my name on the bus for the first time. You know what I mean? Because I've been putting I've been hitting all these buses, man, and I ain't been seeing my name. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. For me, it was like, it, you know, it was a significant part of it because it was a unspo- it was an unspoken language, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you didn't know graffiti, you you was oblivious as to what it was, but it was a form of communication. I was here, like the hobos back in the day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. And we would never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, I possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean But working every day from 9 to 5 in my thing. I feel like a trap, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time, overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped, can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. One by one, we start to subtract them. Separate facade from who really bought that action. Feel like I'm trapped in the room without a key. Full wall surrounding me, stripping my identity. Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive. Take away my culture and my nationality. Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. double standard to killing my folks. Like it don't even matter. And when we gather, disgusted by the charades. Bullets spray the crowd, target practice in the game. No accountability, so who bears the blame? They want to see us violent and justify the change. Back to how it used to be. Obey or you get beat, it's a different time You fuck with mine, you feel as heat Not a threat, it's a promise, real shit Got the music as a platform for awareness I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all in my veins That shit is all in my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, our dumbasses ain't I missing. feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble Trouble, trouble, trouble I'm hanging around the right people. I'm in the crew. You know what I mean? Uh, 
next thing I know, uh, I'm introduced to the MBT thing. Now it's like nothing but trouble. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going over on it. We're going from like, you know, where the Fox Hill Mall hanging. Now I'm going to the 40 stop at, you know what I mean, at a certain point where this is like 88, 89. We had to, we had to, uh, we had a bus stop off of Lamert and, uh, what is, I, man, I can't remember the cross street, but it was the back of Audubon High School. And if you was a graffiti artist in LA and you was about that and you was getting up and you know what I mean? That, that was the place to be. I mean, any day after school, it's 300 motherfuckers out there. Buses ain't stopping for it. If they stop, they getting hit. We mm. fucking them up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we getting it, bro. And you know what I mean? The most, like, I remember, uh, Matt, Drax, Renner, Lane, Russ, Rail, uh, uh, Mozart, uh, Conker. I see Mozart uh, still up. Mo- I see Mozart everywhere still. And Castro, uh, we all went, you know what I mean? Mm. So, uh, my, my boy Texture, Reed, Hype, Sin, uh, Falky Red. Well, no, Bucky Red came in at a different time. But he, I think, yeah, he was around when LeBert was cracking at the end of it. But anyway, but we just go to the 40 stop, man, and, and, and the 40 stop was just off the hook, brother. Mm. Like, it was an L.A. writer from South Central. You was there, man, and we was like three, 400, 500 deep. So there's one bus. I don't know what happened. I think we got on it or we blocked it off, dude. We mobbed that thing so hard, the bus driver got off and left the bus, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know what I mean, the rooftop, the inside yeah. grill, outside grill, destination, everything. Man, I mean, we killed that. Anybody in the graffiti world, they know that. That's a memorable, a memorable day, bro. You know what I mean? They, we the reason why they created created the RTD police. They had undercover. You know what I mean? That's right. They would run, they would run out the bus trying to catch you guys. I'm telling you, Officer Jones, Ball, uh, 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 Ball Bull, uh. Yeah. The homie order from MBT, uh, uh, J Boy from Trouble, by one. Uh, he uh, they got video, his video out there on, on YouTube about him, man. You know what I mean? When they roll up on him, Officer Jones, man. Mm. You know, what I mean? yeah, that was it was a fun time, bro. It was it was so it was so fun, man. We go out, everybody just meet up, man, and then you got crews that's just going wherever, bro. And it was lovely. It it, it, it was lovely. You know what I mean? Because mm. you had, you was fucking, I was fucking with niggas from the jungles that I was loving like my brother. You know what I mean? So, like, we'd be over on the west side of something and, 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 and the peace stones get mm. on us. We like, he like, no, man, these are my folks, man. Don't even trip and shit. You know what I mean? My house on Sydney, uh over there on New Hampshire, we had a garage and then everybody used to come crash the garage. It was called the G. You know what I mean? That was like if the homies, like, if we all out and a couple of my homeboys can't go home because they, they having trouble with their parents behind this graffiti and shit. They can always go to my house and crash, you know? Mm. Now, talk to me about some of the crews that were thick in it when you were doing your thing. You know, the KCCs, the K-Dubs, the NTST and TSSs, things like that. KWS, uh, CMA, BAD, KTL, Kisser and them. Uh... At that time, uh, my nigga Create, Lil Create came and, 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 and rocked the nation. Uh, let me see, West Coast, uh, for sure West Coast. Uh, crews that was rocked, MBT for sure, because it was right along with the KWS and us, and, you know what I mean? At first, KWS and MBT was like a big-ass family. So, yeah, um, mm. yeah, the KCCs was rocking. Uh, the CLKs. Uh... Now, I want to talk about KCC real quick because that's the one that I remember. I had a few friends from KCC, and yeah. it. Now, out, there was there was a few names I remember. There was Kings Controlling Compton, Kids Kings Co Chilling. Um, if you want a diss, it was Kings Collecting Cans or some dumb shit like that. Um, but w- what what did they have their bases in Compton? Is that is that correct? Yes. Okay. Talk yes. to me about what you remember about KCC or what you know about their history. KCC history is like this here. Uh, Sco and Devo, they the creators. And they lived off 
if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, 132nd, 133rd, one of them in Mona, and it was in Cub. Now, when okay, there was a couple of homies that started hanging out with the KCC. We started hanging with Dram because Dram was another black writer. But what made it unique was Dram was a white black writer from a predominantly Hispanic tag and gang mm-hmm. group. But they already had homies like Dram, uh, Reactor, uh, the homie New, uh, uh, the homie Trick that was black. Me, uh, you know what I mean? Different homies. So the KWS is, was around. I wasn't from KWS. So I was, uh, you know, uh, hanging. I, I wasn't KCC yet. And uh, we all went out. We went out to the we went out to the KCC. I, I went with Drax, and I was thinking I was gonna get, you know, we was there. We was going, you know, they were gonna talk and everything. Maybe a fight or something. Then it was KCC. You know what I mean? But yeah, end up everything went good. Uh, Evo and Sco, uh, they were brothers. Well, they are brothers. And uh, yeah, I mean, I I would meet Drax, uh, Web, Depp. It was a couple of KWS. Uh, uh, people that turned KC, that was KCC before we went to KWS, but we was from the KWS side. You understand what I'm saying? And then we ended up, uh, KWS and KCC ended up clicking. But when I, yeah, KCC was up, man. Uh, Devo, I remember Micro, Redact. The boys had them, man, they was killing buses, bro. <laughs> yeah, KCC was everywhere. They was murdering it. You know, I'm, I'm 45, so like when, when KCC was hot with me, uh, I, I'm originally from, from the Linwood side, because that's where I went, Circle Park. That was the place at 5 o'clock on Friday. Uh, you're going to find the KCCs there. You know what I mean? They they had, you know, niggas had cars, blazers, and shit. These niggas, these niggas was a little bit more advanced than us. We were still hitting the buses. So when we got over there to them, they were throwing, but motherfuckers, was, we were scratching house parties and all kind of shit. You know what I'm mm. saying? <laughs> It's just you and me. School is in session, baby, but I don't play. I know you wanted to go uh-huh. to recess, but I take, take that, that away. What? Understand I'm the what? man, even if you had a plan. If you make 200000 I'm keeping 100 grand. Wait a minute. Uh, because I'm pimping you, bitch. This is America, so why not get rich? When you're searching for your music, you're playing my station. I'm two steps beyond, maybe that's the fascination. Come on. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling Absolute, we put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. I'm a West Coast rapper from the city of the hub. Everywhere I go, I get that California love. Like I'm the plug, they trying to tap into my energy. When I hit the spot, you know I'm coming with that synergy, replenishing like Gatorade. Got they levels up, and now we two steps beyond these flames, kicking up dust, never running from the smoke. Hold up, we really want the smoke only from Clone God, though. Let's go. One plus one equals two. I'm talking. Talking you and me, you talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. I'm a Gemini, bitch. So you know what that means. It means that sometime one plus one equals three. I'm a wandering star with two grams up in my cigar and a heart with two scars. So pardon if I snap, girl. I'm sorry, bitch. Pass me the lighter. I'm about to play street fighter. Hot Dugan, that pussy. Like my name, Kenny Ryu. She says she never kissed a girl. Well, bitch, tonight you experiment. Put this tablet on your tongue and just enjoy the experience. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. KCC. Now, I, the dudes that I remembered, I can't remember their names for the life of me, but they were black dudes. That I do remember. Um, but then okay. I re- then I remember there was a time where it, it just became, and forgive me if I'm wrong on this, but didn't it turn into an all-Mexican gang or Latino gang and I throw the 13 yeah. at the end? Yeah, yeah, yes, they did. They did, you know what I mean? But at this time, I'm already a YA banger, you know what I mean? Mm. 
I'm like, you know, I mean, Devo, uh, okay, so, like I was explaining to you all why, we had a couple of homies that died, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dram, Skull, and Sazam, you know what I mean? And they got killed by the young crowd, you know what I mean? But when when that happened, it was so much dust being kicked up in, in, in Long Beach with these taggers when 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 I guess they they uh they structure from the pen got down at them like they needed to take on a thirteen. Some homies went with that and other niggas didn't do that. You know what I mean? Mm. Like all my niggas didn't do that because all my niggas already had it goes back to that question you asked about the tag banging. You was like, We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the tag banging mm-hmm. and shit like that. So it goes back to the tag banging. I can sum that up for you right now, my brother. Uh most of everybody that started graffiti with me already had the gang mentality embraced in them. Mm-hmm. True. Uh, I was already, I was in elementary at Lauren Miller, and because my cousin was from, from the 60s or had dwelling with the 60s, I'm at school dressed in a certain way. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? It, over there. So, like, we, I already had people that was already still in crip in me or – are already seen the gang lifestyle. So when we approach the scene, us in the troubles as well, they already had that gang mentality. Because growing up in South Central, running around in a crew, you already got, you, you instilled with that shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You instilled in it. So like, we was, we was before all this tag banging came up, that's when like, they started wanting to be affiliated with, with, with the Chicano lifestyle and in a certain era in a certain era of black graffiti it kind of died down in LA until we all got back together and then we started killing the ground world now you know what I mean because mm-hmm. before even then a lot of crews started rocking gang colors right like F Troop they were red like certain certain people start uh, well uh, not with us okay our ba- our basic attire, niggas just wanted to be, at first, we was like, fucking, you know what I mean? You'll catch some niggas in Ben Davis, Cortez, being banged out. I remember ordering them. Them niggas used to be G'd up. But we we had a swag to that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So nigga would have on a pair of khakis, but nigga have on some dope-ass suede bands with a, with a, with a, with a you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, we had a whole different swag with the, the thing, but... In the earlier years, it was all about uh, the, the black dicky coats that we would make rack jackets and shit. It was NWA kind of like, you know what I mean? That whole gangster style, but we was just like black king's hat. Or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was like that. You know, shit. Yeah. And it would, and, and crews really didn't have no color, brother. You know what I mean? We didn't have no color back in the day because niggas was in the hip hop. White, niggas, black, like, a- Asian. I saw all. T- there was all type of taggers. I remember. Nigga, nigga, De La Soul came out. Nigga, I had a flat top. Nigga looked like I'll be sure and shit. Me and Castro. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? When the Jungle Brothers came out, they had the fucking glasses that flip up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like things of that nature. You know what I mean? So like the tag banging. You know, we, you know, to call us a tagger. First of all, like, if a nigga came up to me and be like, hey, what you tag? I'm like, oh, he a toy. He's a cop. Oh, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's like, what you write? What you write was the proper phrase. There you I go. I'm a, I'm a writer. I'm mm-hmm. not no two. I'm not no, you know what I mean? So, you know, that tag banging thing, we, we was already with that. We was already in the mentality of that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, the shit turned to gun violence. Uh, I, I don't know. I think it, I don't know if it was rain or vessel. They got killed first. I I, I don't know. I know Graham mm-hmm. Drax, post Sazam got killed. Rain and them was before that. Uh, Clever was due to gang violence. Uh, not that he was a gang member, but it was gang violence uh, because of the color of the truck or something. Uh, Damn. Yeah, bro. Talk, like, talk to me yeah. about talk to me about Drax and the whole situation that happened like within like a four day period or something like that. Well, uh, me and Drax was in Linwood hanging out. Uh, they was about to go to a house party. Me and Drax was doing other things. We were selling dope in the dope spot. So we had to get back to the west side because we were in Linwood. 
well, we left from what? But yeah, we left. We went back over to do our thing, and they went to a party or something with caravanning, and a car cut them off in Linwood on California Street and, and shot it up. You know what I mean? Shot the car up. Mm. So we lost Dram Store and Sazam. Then that was June 4th on Drag's birthday. And then the homie's birthday, four days later, he got killed. You know what I mean? I was witty. You know what I mean? Homie Drax, one, R.I.P., man. And he was a major influence in uh in B-Boy, in L.A. B-Boy, him and Mad. You know what I mean? They, mm. they was trendsetters. That's mad they with the question people. mark, right? Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Damn, like, dog. We, i tell you a funny story right now with Mad, man. Me, uh, it was a gang I was saying There was a, a time where somebody, uh, uh, Mad from New York. Somehow, I don't know how I got through the graffiti world, but we was battling this nigga. And Bad from New York, I don't know, uh, he couldn't fuck with Bad from out here, simply because Bad from out here was our whole crew doing mad chat. <laughs> you know, he wasn't battling one nigga, he was battling like <laughs> nine, ten niggas, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, that's my boy, man. Damn, man. Did you lose a lot of people during that time? Huh? Did you lose a lot of people during that time? What, in the graffiti world? Yeah. Uh, we lost a couple. We didn't lose too many. Mm-hmm. We lost, uh, let me see. I'll give you a countdown right now. Uh, Rain, that nigga was one of ours. And I ain't saying one of ours as far as KWS, because that nigga was from KWS and MBT. MBT and KWS. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. So Rain, a uh, little Mexican vessel. Uh, uh, clever, because he was a godfather. Uh, uh, Dram, Drax, Sko, Sazam. Uh, uh, let me see who else after that. Sazam, uh, yeah, there was, there was a lot of deaths. Uh, uh, the homie Strike, KCC, uh, uh, for the most part, there's more, there's more, there's more roughing around than dead, you know what I mean? Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus. And if you're still alive. I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, not doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a west straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do when you win it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and but she's nervous, get told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight, baby. gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay yeah what are the chances you're picking a flight we're leaving the night pack up your bags we're leaving this place and this baggage because what can we do while Rome is collapsing But not in a day, we'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen, it'll be Just like starting over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight, baby Ignore the rain gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay i don't even know why i'm here wanna be on a beach somewhere be kicked up in my chair smoke all up in the air clouds are looking lovely my girl is by my side, my gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And 
can I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottom of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I've bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce on your memory, every time I blaze a tree Voices in my head keep on urging me Tell them about the story, hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay When the crews became 13, they started aligning themselves with, with Latino gangs. I'm a, what happened to the, the, the few black people that were part of the crews? We was in, a lot of us was in jail. Oh, okay. A lot of us was being dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Versus the homegirls, too, because we got our homegirls right now. They still function together. You know what I mean? I'm in contact with Mo, everybody. You know what I mean? Um uh okay so another era me and mo bro um uh, another era me and mo's are but he's from my era that's my little homeboy even though he older than me that's my that's my that's my little g right there um mozart i brought him around whatnot but uh i came home from ya and, and mozart we linked back up and you know there was a crew out there claiming kwsk and it was funny. We left a message for him on the wall or something. They linked up with us. And long story short, we had another faction. So now we got little niggas that's doing the graffiti thing. You know what I mean? In the street. The 13 and all that, that was their choice. You know what I mean? I, I, that's, not my, that's not my structure. That ain't my get down. You know what I mean? And most of the original KWSs, we got the homies in Maywood. They function with us. We talk to them and everything like that. Because they, they history was graffiti, you know what I mean? But they chose, they own some gangster shit, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? That was their choice, but we still fun. We still, we still holler at them. They, you know, they good, you know what I mean? The KCC Threats, they out there, you know what I mean? We, we got a couple of homies we holler at from there and whatnot, you know, but when we run into each other in the jailhouse, the politics of the politics, it's all like that. You know what I mean? Not like like we at them, but they, they recognize, they respect, we respect. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, nigga, you KCC, huh? Oh, yeah, nigga, yeah. Okay, I, I was from KCC. I'm still from KCC, but you know the graffiti side of it. You know what I mean? So we, like, you know, those are still out there active in them streets. You know what I mean? We got homies out there active in the streets. We got, you know... RCDK, they, 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 that's like the Hall of Fame crew with all the homies, you know what I mean? And, 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 and we old, we old, we old, bro, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, we vintage, man, we're vintage player. Yeah. We, we, we classic, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, there's not going to be an era like that anymore, man. Like, you know, exactly. I don't ever say I'm old, man. We're classics, dog. We're like a we're like a '64 Chevy, homie. It's never gonna be old. It's it's just gonna be. We're a different time, and these kids they they'll never even know. Even if we try to explain to them what we were, they just will never get it. What do you mean, you guys used to meet up at the Panic Zone in downtown Los Angeles and bomb the riverbeds? What does that even mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? They're like they don't even get it. Hey, Lamert Lamert Park. Let's not, I, you know, I, I mentioned the forty stop, and the forty stop is Lamert Park, bro. That's the home of the troubles, man. And you know what I mean. The KWSs, which was more of my guys from my side, and the MBGs, they got we all got into a little scrimmage, scrimmage. But I was one of the niggas that could always go to Lamert Park. I don't give a fuck if the homies just jump, whatever, whatever. I'd go to Lamert Park and be like, look, nigga, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you know. Uh, nigga, the troubles, my nigga. We used to have so much fun together, man. Knowing that we could catch a bus out to Sherman Oaks City. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
going going to the motor yard and finish. You know what I mean? Seeing uh that nigga Ash from West Coast, bad motherfucker Ash, Foe, uh Pino, uh PJ Dello that was in uh Subway Art, uh or Spray Can Art, one of the two. But yeah, man, I'm talking about I was meeting people, bro, in the graffiti world that that was coming out in like magazines and shit. You know what I mean? Like uh PJ from West Coast and uh. I can't think of the other brother's name, but they got down at B-Boy Records. My boy Chino, man. You know what I mean? Look at the Chino, bro. That dude's sick, man. Okay. Uh, uh, Chino from 18th Street. He's got a, I think, Kev Mac did a, uh, a what's his name? What up, Hood? Kev Mac. Okay. You know I mean? Kev <laughs> Mac video, video. Yeah, my, <laughs> but, uh, Love that fucking intro. Yes. Uh, Kev Mac did an interview on Chino, man. Look him up, man. That nigga, he, okay. he, he's got a downtown LA on 6th Street, Koreatown called Escalante. I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I saw that one. Yes. I'm very familiar. Yeah. So, like, he was, a, he was, shit, I went to jail in front of, uh, I went to jail in, uh, right there at B-Boy Records for being in possession of a 22. You know what I mean? Like, mm. that's how we were, we were already, and that was before the tag banging situation, bro. You know what I mean? How, how the essays went to 13 and, and it was like, you know, Yes, you know what I mean. We just when when it started coming our way, we just entertained that shit to the fullest, and we wasn't no punks, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And we already had a structure that too many of them little motherfuckers couldn't handle because it was it was niggas that didn't want to join the gang that became taggers. No, we was tag we was already ganging we was already gang bread that was taggers. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So the conflict really wasn't shit, but we didn't really try to keep the conflict going, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, man. You're in a crew with people from different neighborhoods. You're you're from your hood, and you, your your boys from a different hood, and and that's the aspect that I, I liked about tagging back in the day. That was it was like that. Like right now, uh, we're all part of RTDK, bro. That's the Hall of Fame group. You know what I mean? Now in RTDK, you got KCC, KWS, mm. got uh, every every. If you was about something back then, not taking away from anybody, mm-hmm. Chaka's in there. Uh, um, my nigga, uh, Micah, my nigga, uh, 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 man, just so many, so many groups, but like, you got the KCCs and the NTSs in that. Mm. Back in the day, we didn't get along. You know what I mean? You got yeah. the Troubles and you got the KWSs in that. Back in the day, they didn't get along, but we all here as grown men, we got family now when we come up, you know, because we lose them, we just lost search. You know what I mean? Mm. We just lost them. We just lost some other homies. You know what I mean? Like, wow. You know, Azure, uh. The other homie, uh, uh, Acro, that just died. You know what I mean? Oh, like, sore, huh? Okay, sore. wow. Yeah. Rest in peace. Wow. Trig. Fucking Trig, you know what I mean? The homies, like, you know, so it's like, this is a big family, like, with the graffiti thing. And if we don't get this graffiti thing alive, man, as far as trying to let these youngsters know, man, that, you know, this is an art form. you got a history. Just like all the homies that get on here that's Crips, that's Bloods. Nigga, I respect all them niggas that get on there, nigga, tell a story because you niggas molded me on some shit. You know what I mean? Like, like they telling it, they, they have a history. Like, people don't know about the the, uh, the black the black cowboys from Compton. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, they have a history. So, when it comes down to a graffiti history, not just only graffiti history, but South Central Specifically, yeah. You know what I mean? Specifically, nigga, we came out the slums with this shit and creating some of the dopest shit. Look at my nigga Little Create. Look at my nigga Mozart. These niggas came from nothing. My nigga Skill, my nigga Snap. Them niggas, man, the UTIs, man. These niggas, these niggas, niggas came from, like, the, 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 the dirt with it, bro. Well, you know what I mean? Some niggas did, but, yeah, my niggas, Merge, from UT, niggas, that was, that, 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 that was South Central bread, man. We came in the dirt and niggas just be creating some masterpieces, bro. Mm-hmm. Not to take away from anything that out there. Create from West Coast. My niggas, the West Coast, they always been dope. KSE is dope. You know what I mean? Uh, man, it's just, it, it, man, graffiti is a beautiful thing, man. Pac said it best, man. I'm world, you know, I'm worldwide like the art of graffiti, you know? Mm hmm.
I know a girl that pops a perk before she brush her teeth I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week I have a friend who's married but he still be fucking bitches And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitches I remember, hold up, sorry I forgot to mention I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention To get attention I would always used to get detention Getting suspended was my only life's mission My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life Promised my aunt I'll look after him but I lied Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese Ignoring texts from my family members every week I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'll call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses, we gon' mix it with the little Honey Jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that, so much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate, let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words, so let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above, hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower, Hit me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor Incoherent, sober up, then I do it again Check me out. Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play the skin to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast, maneuver like Jet Li Translation, man, I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat, that's my suspicio Or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio Or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion You mentioned uh, someone that I would love to tap, tap, uh, touch a little bit more on. Talk to me about the legend of Chaka. Danny, Danny Ramos, man. Um, my memory on Chaka, man, '89, it, it was all over. That nigga, mm-hmm. I remember everywhere. No, dis- hey, no disrespect to my boy, but hey, I remember getting the bus. We used to go to Huntington Park. And uh, the Dallas Theater on Pacific. Uh, I remember Pacific. that. I grew up in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I mean? We, we went out there. Chaco, that nigga used to be writing on the bus with, like, Uni Poskas. And at that time, that was some choice to write with. But I never met him. So, I never met him back then. So, you know, what I can remember is uh, seeing that. And then he linked up. That nigga linked up with the Dream Team, bro. I think it was uh, I think it was Euler. Uh, it was a low stone wow. dope, man. It was it was Flea, Chaka, Euler. Uh, 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 shit, dude. I, man, I'm missing. Man. I'm missing one. Man. It's all good. But You're bringing up some names that I'm, I clearly remember. But these niggas killed the 110 freeway from downtown past El Segundo to the 91. Mm. These niggas just. Oh my fucking god, man! They killed it so hard. They was the first motherfuckers that ever hit the freeways, bro. Man, these dudes killed it so hard, bro. Chaka, Chaka just exploded, bro. That boy exploded, man. Yep. 
but so I know him now because of the RTD K crew. I know I know Chuck like a mud. Chuck is cool, man. That, that, that guy, very talented, bro. You know what I mean? Yes, man. If, if you could ever interview him, man, I'll see if I can reach out to the boy, man. That'll be dope. Yeah, I tried. I tried about a year ago, and um, he was telling. He said he d- doesn't do interviews, but yeah, man, if you get that connection, it's it, that that would be even be dope. But don't want to put no pressure on you. Good looking out, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he ain't doing interviews. Yeah, man, you know? he said he's good. He said he's good. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> but yo, man, I, I really appreciate you joining the show, man. And this is gonna be for everybody out there. This is gonna be one of many, man. Me and Ouch are gonna kind of do do a little bit more on this graffiti thing. He's gonna introduce me to a couple of cats. And Ouch, I would love to have you back on for a part two. You know, personally, you know, again, maybe in a, in a few weeks, maybe a month or something like that. Because there's a few things that else that I would love to touch on. I would even love to touch on, you know, the gangbang inside of your your history as well. Um, but, yeah. but yo, um, do you do you want to pump anything up? You have anything you want to promote? The floor is yours, man. Man, graffiti is an art form, man. Eh? You know what I mean? You know, and that era was golden to me, man. So you know, every nigga I did it with, man, much love, bro, and, and, and to my. My nigga Mozart, he's still doing it. Uh, create, little create, man. Uh, them boys from RTN, man. Uh, yours, uh, Yersky, man. My nigga uh, Ben Graham, uh, Castro, the whole criminal minded family, man. All the KWSs, CCCs, you know what I mean? It, it, it's just, we got to teach these youngsters, man, about this graffiti game, man. You know what I mean? Oh, another dude, man. Psych, UPN. What's up, brother? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, just, you know. It's just, it's just a history, man, that's, that's sometimes overlooked because yeah. South Central is a spot. From Central Avenue, they get a jazz to, 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 to the Lamert Park scene, to the to the graffiti history of it, to the art that always has been there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To the art that always been there, man. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it, 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 man, it, it's worldwide, brother, you L- know? Let me ask you, uh, is it, is because maybe it's just because the, the media was really putting a lot on it back in the early 90s but is the scene as big as it was back when we were younger and we just don't realize it or has it has it you know died off kind of like breaking was big for a minute and then it just died off there's people out there that still keep the culture alive are there people out there that are just trying to keep the culture alive or is it as big as it's ever been uh I'm, okay the culture is not in danger i say again the culture is not endangered man graffiti is off the hook you know what i mean like with all this little covid thing over or whatnot man we get together man i'll i'll slide you to some spots btla downtown la man it's just it's still thriving brother and it's making mainstream media you know what i mean it, it's, it's being in galleries it's 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 brother's got businesses behind us look at risk from west coast man that boy he man much love to risk man you know what I mean? Like it's so it's so much it's so much it it is it, it, it's full throttle, brother. It's full throttle. It's just it ain't as many people, but it's a lot. It's it's still it's still going, brother. It's still thriving. LA graffiti, South Central graffiti is still going. Yeah, man, and I still as a forty three year old person, I still can't even lie. I still enjoy driving down the freeway and when I see a good piece, I fucking my, my I get goosebumps. Just like I do when I hear a, a good uh, uh, rap song for the first time it's like oh man that shit's still alive but the tagging shit as i get older i'm like man fuck you don't be tagging on my my property but <laughs> the pieces though I, I i'm still digging that shit man yeah bro you know what i mean like yeah i get it i get it we got some little homies that get out there and get it man but yeah like i said in the next interview we'll talk about the dessert the, the, the different type of graffiti artists and vandals there are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was a van. See, I was the one. I was fucking up people's property. I don't. See? I'm cool on that person. I like the guy who actually makes some art. I was the. I was the one that was messing up your the side of your house, or your, your your yard, or you know some shit like that. Spray paint on trees and all that. I'm like, come on, man. Don't be doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm still. I'm still that guy though. I'm still that <laughs> guy, bro. My yeah, man. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bathroom at a, ba- at a gas station. I know it's a hot spot now. I'm going to hit that motherfucker. You know what, dog? So I took, for for years, I took my graffiti to the sticker game. My little brother, um, we were kind of heavy in the graffiti, you know, back in the day as well. But we, so, so I, I let's just say I still, I, you, you might see a sticker or two from, from my undercover 
name that I yeah. that I'll just post up in the bathroom. Yeah, I got another boy you might want to interview too. Is my brother Tino KWS man? Okay. That's boy hard. That boy's hard. That boy's if he see it, he can draw it, bro. Nice, damn. Well, shit, I'm going to definitely stay in touch with you, man, like real talk, and, and um, uh, I'll hit you up sometime this week, and we'll set up the next move, and, and I appreciate you doing this, and I look forward to, to building something from here. Yeah, man, God bless, you, brother. Yeah, you God too, bless. man, and have a, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll be in touch for sure. All right, brother. All right, man, peace. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Shout out to my boy Alch One for doing this. You will be seeing a lot more graffiti related content on my channel dusty vision tv hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you know when i post new shit i appreciate you joining the program i'll talk to you soon peace